Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite girl, A. Marie. As you've seen in the title, we're gonna be talking about the 21 makeup items that I decided to Project Pan for 2021. You guys, if y'all don't know what Project Pan is or how it works, then just keep watching. But before we go any further, you guys, if you like this video and find it informational, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 5K. My first goal is to hit 3K, but my ultimate goal so far for 2021 is 5K. So yes, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and go ahead and leave a comment. Now let's jump into it. Day one, day one. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with the same one, same one. Ain't no I and T. I'ma bring you good love, just come with me. Maybe you're all the company I need. Alright, you guys. So, like I said, we have chose, I have chose 21 makeup products to Project Pan for this year. I did pull out some stickers because some of my products in here don't have stickers and you guys know that I always, anything that I'm Project Pan in, I put a sticker on it. Now, last year's Project Pan didn't go so well. I'm not gonna hold you guys and I'm not gonna lie. It didn't go so well. The main problem is that I have a project pan drawer that I put all of the project pan items in and I found myself not going to that drawer very often even though I was doing my monthly shop my stashes. I really wasn't going to that drawer. So I decided that this year project pan items will always stay in my main two drawers which is on my Mickey this from Ikea it's gonna stay there my shop mustache is in those two drawers so I feel more confident in putting the project pan items inside that drawer but the project pan items do not leave the only way they will leave that drawer is if I finish it up hopefully that makes sense to you guys so another thing project pan items that I pulled out most of them from last year I threw away because I just wasn't using it and majority of the project pan items that I pick are older products in my collection some of the items that I didn't throw away are still in this project pan I will link down below or up there in the cards last year's project pan just so you guys could see i had way too many products for one i had them stored in the wrong drawer for two out of sight out of mind you know because i just wasn't going to it and i have the drawer labeled but when i would look at the drawer i'd be like eh, nah I, I'm, I ain't gonna pay attention to it this month so i messed up so this year i'm holding myself accountable for 21 products for 2021 and every three months i feel like i should update you guys with how it's going so if you don't know what project pan is according to everybody on youtube it's where you choose a product that you would like to hit pan on but according to me hello is she according to me and how i plan to do my project pan like i've always done project pan i chose 21 items that either i want to finish up i want to pan or i want to empty and you're going to understand what i mean by empty okay hopefully everything is making sense so far don't want to confuse you if you have any questions thus far go ahead and comment down below i will be more than happy to answer your questions so now let's jump into the 21 products with the 21 products you guys i'm not gonna go in order some may have stickers on it already and some may not 
but I'm just gonna pull as I see it. Got it? The first project pan item I got is my IT. IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. It is a anti-aging moisturizer and it's mainly for daily moisturizing. You can use it daytime or night. And I bought this, I wanna say early 2020 or late 2019. And I haven't used much of it, but I wanna go ahead and use it because as you could tell, I cracked the bottle some type of way. Like I cracked the lid. I did have this in my 2020 project pan and I just didn't use it all that much. But if you could tell, it has a whole lot in there. And I feel like with the broken top, I don't want it to go to waste just because this broken top and I'm not using it, I don't want it to be a waste because if you guys don't know, It Cosmetics is kinda, I'm not even gonna say kinda, It Cosmetics is on the higher end of the spectrum, so I don't want to waste my money on this. It smells good, it does moisturize and hydrate your skin. I use it on my hands and my face, but I always seem to not use it because of the smell, but I love the smell, which is weird to me. So I don't, um, I don't know what the problem is, but if I can't finish it in 2021, I want to at least have it all the way closer to the bottom than what it is now. And like I said, I will be updating you guys every three months. I'm holding myself to that. You guys hold me to that. Ask me, like, are you doing the update? Are you doing the update? You said you was gonna do the update. So hold me accountable, okay, you guys? What I didn't tell you guys is some of the Project Pan items I am wearing on my face today, but I will let you guys know exactly what those products are when we get to them, okay? So moving on, I do want to Project Pan my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. You guys, I have two compacts of this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This one is in Dark Deep. Okay, so the problem with this is, you guys, I shopped at MAC like maybe four years ago, and this was a part of that buy, and here we are four years later, and she still has it. <laughs> like, why does she still have it? And I love this. So it's like the more makeup I buy, the more things I forget about, even if I loved it or not. You guys, I love this. And I like the dark, but I like the dark deep as well. And I have not finished it. But as you could tell, if you could see, MAC products come like as a dome. And my dome is no longer there so you could tell I used it I mean obviously look at it she looks gross I have yet to hit pan no pan as you could tell now my goal this year is to at least hit pan on this if I don't hit pan she will roll into 2022 with your girl because I can't keep holding on to my MAC items just because I don't shop MAC no more. Why I don't shop MAC no more, I have no clue. So the next thing, this is a very oldie, but a goodie, it would never change. The only thing is, is that they reformulated this and I still have the old one as well as the new one, but I wanna continue working on the old one. This is the CoverGirl Queen collection and this is my all-time favorite ebony bronzer you guys covergirl has discontinued this reformulated it and brought it back and yet i still have this one i have the new one like i said but the new formulated stuff is really good but it's nothing like the original no okay 
So as you can tell, we hit pan pretty good on it. I had this ever since I started makeup, or should I say ever since I started my makeup channel, which is what, six years, seven years? She doesn't stink, she still smells the same, she still performs the same because I have her on today. As you can tell, like, she's cute and bronzed up and cute, you know? She still performs the same. So my plan is to, like, completely pan this whole thing by the end of the year. Hopefully, we can make it. As you can tell, we had it in Project Pan last year. We didn't quite finish it, but we're gonna still work on it. We also have the Black Radiance Soft Focus, yes, Soft Focus Finishing Powder. You guys, this one is in Milk Chocolate, and as you can tell, it was Project Pan last year. We hit good pan on it. As you can tell right here, I put a dot in it last year. So you can see from that dot to this ridge how much I used, but I want to completely finish this. I have like five backups. Milk chocolate, beautifully bronzed. I mean, I have a couple of shades. Milk chocolate is what I have on my face today. Airbrush, full coverage, plays well with any foundation. <sighs> Y'all, I love Black Radiance powders. I love Black Radiance in general, but they are soft finish powders. This soft focus finish powder, girl, she will love for Black Radiance to send a whole package, even if it's just this. Send me a PR box of just your soft focus. Milk chocolate, beautifully bronze. I mean, any shade. If you think I can highlight with it, if you think I can contour with it, girl, send it. Send it Black Radiance. These are way bigger than any other compact, as you can tell. Way, way, way bigger. Way bigger. So that's why it takes a lot of using to finish this up because it's way more than the average powder. The average powder has, I thought maybe Mac will say it, 10 grams in this one. In the Black Radiance, it is 13 grams, which may not seem a big difference, like three grams extra. No, look at how I hold this and look at how I hold this. We are finally, finally, and I do believe I will repurchase this after I finish it up, but we are finally going to try to use our ABH Mahogany Bronzer. As you can tell, I hit pan on it already. This powder is one of my favorite bronzers. You guys, I will go to this bronzer and my Ebony bronzer before I go to any other bronzer. So we're gonna try to use up all of this come 2021. Okay, 2021, we're gonna try to use this up. Nine times out of 10, I will repurchase because like, I don't think it will be complete. So, so before we go any further, I just wanted to ask you guys, I know we're in a new year, but I didn't get to ask you guys yet. If you guys watch me during Vlogmas, you guys know I asked the question like, did everybody yell Jumanji on the 31st? So I want you to comment down below and let me know if you yelled Jumanji. And if you are project panning any items, let your girl know what are you project panning. Next product that we are gonna project pan, which rolled over from 2020, yet again, it's another Black Radiance product. This is the Bronze Glow, um, what is this? Press powder. And this one is in Bronze Glow, I'm sorry. This is a Black Radiance Press Powder in Bronze Glow. And I set my face with this as well. So as you can tell, we got a little panning going on. 
but uh baby girl we need to finish finish her you know like we need to finish this so we're gonna work on this bad boy as well this one won't be so hard because it's a smaller pan as you can tell very smaller pan it's not gonna take too long but there is a lot of product in each and every powder formula like every powder formula has a whole lot this one here says it's 7.8 grams in here so baby girl we got to get to using oh girl we gotta do makeup like her day once again time out time out if you're looking for this makeup look and you don't see it on my channel it is because it's not on my channel you need to go and follow me on my instagram where it's lit follow me follow me on instagram so you won't miss these looks because there's some looks that i'm putting on my instagram that is not on my youtube unless it's highly requested you get what i'm saying so i'm trying to build my following and my engagement up on my instagram so i would love for you to follow me over there and engage with me so you won't miss these igtvs baby let me know if you could tell the difference from my older videos to now to this year let me know if you could tell the difference can, can, can you tell can you tell okay i think that's all of the powders i said i wasn't gonna go like in an order but hey all right the next thing will be my black opal true color foundation this is a stick foundation in suede mocha but you guys i have suede mocha on my face today and i use it to contour slash bronze and i love it and i haven't cream contoured in a while i don't think any of 2020 i cream bronze but you guys i am back to feeling the cream bronze okay and this would be a great product to cream bronze with as well as use up i've been having this for more than four years or about four years i can't even find black opal nowhere in my stores no more so that should tell you how long i've been having this we need to use her up now if we can't use her up i would love for her to be way smaller than this like way shorter because i'm only using it to bronze cream bronze up my skin so it is gonna take some uses because you see how thick chunky this is like she thick thick so it's gonna take some time to work with it but i think i could nine times out of ten at least get it to where it's almost gone versus not use it at all by the end of the year you know what i mean and i just realized you guys my battery was going dead um one of my batteries went dead from doing the igtv now in the mix of this video my battery was going dead so i'm on to the third battery but i just realized that when i do my igtv i take my mic off of my camera because i'm not talking in those videos but now that i'm doing this video my mic is sitting over there so sorry if the sound sounds different um normally my mic makes everything really crisp but I guess we'll see when we go to edit. So moving on to this concealer, you guys. It was in Project Pan 2020, Tarte Shape Tape, Tan Deep Sand, one of my favorite concealers. Have it on today. Can you tell? She's lifted, she's beautiful. I love her. She's thick. She's almost completely finished like I can start to see through it so I know she's almost finished so we're going to go ahead and finish her up I seen somebody 
do a project pan and she was saying that she could tell when her concealer is almost empty by hearing the sound and it's a difference from when the concealer is full to when it's empty and I know what she meant but I don't know if y'all know what we mean it's it just sounds more airy than full she sounds airy and I know she's coming to the end I think I'm gonna be scraping the sides trying to finish her up but I will finish her up this year another project pan that was in last year's project pan the only reason why I feel like I need to finish it is because it is Mac but she's almost done why not finish that why not finish that this is the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and this one is in NC45. You can see straight through the glass. I might as well finish this up. And while I finish it up, y'all look how disgusting. While I finish this up, I will be maybe possibly moving, like choosing another item to start working on if I shall finish up any of these products. I may just go into my makeup collection and choose something else to replace that. You know what I mean? So that's gonna be one. This is gonna, this is gonna do it. Now, this is NC45. I think the reason why I didn't like it as much is because it wasn't a highlight shade. It was more of that just random everyday conceal shade for me. So I decided I'm gonna conceal with this and then go on top with a lighter concealer to highlight. Um, okay, the other highlighter is gonna be my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Rockefeller Records because we, we get down, baby, we get down. No, my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer and this one is in golden. I need to use this with hydrating foundations in order to use it up because this is more on the drier side. So I need to use it up. I've been having it for some time and I don't think I made a dent in it. I have another one that I think is like a little too yellowish orangey. And I was like, I don't think I like that one, but I know I like this one and we need to use it okay so i want y'all to hear the difference this one's basically full can you hear the difference because i know what the old girl meant in her video this one sounds way fuller than the tarte shape tape so we're gonna put a sticker on her the only brow pencil I really want to use up is this Wet n Wild Iconic Brow Pencil. I don't even know if these are brow pencils, but this is in OSA Brow and Eye Lift Brow and Eye Liner. And this one is in 652 Dark Brown. Now, if you guys are familiar with these Wet n Wild pencils, they come like this long and it takes you forever to use them up. And as you can tell, we done used her a whole lot so i want to kind of finish this off like to a snubby nubby for the year 2021 this is one of my favorite eyebrow pencils on the market i have a lot more of these in my makeup drawer so i don't want to sit there and have a whole bunch of these open as well as a whole bunch of backups when I'm not using these. And since this is in dark brown, I will try to use it as like an eyeliner, a water liner for the brows, you know, to try to use it in multiple ways. NYX Butter London. This one is in cookie butter. You guys, I love NYX Butter Glosses. Love them. But I have so many. I think I was like kind of on a like a collector i need to have every single color they have i was finding them in state out state you know when i would go to galveston when i would go to austin when i would go to vegas i was looking for these just in case they had shades i don't have here in texas so 
it's time to start like using them up. She still smells like vanilla. I feel like she's still full. You hear that noise? But of course, I'm gonna put just a little bit. I have on my Maybelline Lifter Gloss. So I wanna try to use this all the way up or at least have little to none. Only because I have so many of them and I'm really a liquid lipstick type of girl. But when it comes to my own personal lip glosses and NYX butter glosses, I'm kind of a sucker for the glossy lip, okay? We're gonna try to use this up, okay? All right, so moving on, we got a few more products left and I feel like this video is gonna be too long. I wasn't trying to make it long. Um, Milani's Bella Eyeshadow. You guys, I, if you've been rocking with me since the beginning of my YouTube channel, you guys know that I used to be like real hard on couponing and I got a lot of my drugstore makeup for dirt cheap or free and a lot of Milani Bella eyeshadows, these single eyeshadows, you guys, I had a lot of them because I got them for free. And as the years went on, I decluttered and decluttered and decluttered and decluttered down on Mil Milani. But this one shade, Bella Cappuccino, is a satin eyeshadow. Y'all, these are so freaking good. If Milani just so happened to catch this video and still have these in the warehouse. Yo, Milani. I was like, you know what? Let me at least try to use one single eyeshadow and try to pan it for 2021. I never put a single eyeshadow in a project pan. And you guys, real talk, this Bella Cappuccino, that's what's on my eyelids underneath the inner highlight. Okay, if you guys remember these, Girl, give this video a like already because I know y'all gotta remember these. I'm gonna try to use this like in brow bone, on my lid, inner tear. Uh, girl, we're gonna try to use this up. As you can tell, the hump and dip is still there. Can you see it? I'm gonna try to, there you go. So I kinda wanna flatten this all the way around by the end of 2021. So moving on to the primer, I got the Touch, Touch and Soul No Corbla Primer. That's the first time since I had this primer that I ever said it right. I got this primer in BoxyCharm in 2019, I wanna say. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it. But because it's like a silicone-y primer, I want to kind of use it up before it goes bad. You know what I mean? I'm wearing it today. It does give that airbrush faux filter look like it just blurs out everything and make everything look so beautiful and flawless. You ain't got no pores or none of that when you're wearing this. And I do want to buy it again, but I want to use up this one first. And as we can tell, like I've been using it, girl. But uh, I just haven't used it all up. And with a product that I just like extremely love because this is one of the ones I extremely love, I need to use it. That means I have too many primers that I kind of forgot about this. So now that's what I mean by when I say, oh, I gotta put it on the bottom, yeah, it's falling off. That's what I mean by empty project pan. You know what I mean? I want this to be completely empty or close to empty by the end of this year. So I do have four foundations and it's really like three foundations because I tried to use one of the foundations doing this look and baby girl won't come out. She won't come out and it's the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop 
foundation. This one is in Mocha. I love this stuff. You can't use it with the primer. The NYX Can't Stop Primer. Can't. Can't use it with the concealer because everything is too drying and too matte. But using this with a hydrating foundation or more so like the Touch and Soul Primer is beautiful. It is beautiful. You just got to know how to work with the primer, the setting powder, the mas not mascara, girl, the foundation and the concealer. You just got to know how to work with these can't stop on stops. Okay. But the problem is baby girl won't come out and I don't know because I know for a fact this is still a full bottle and I want to use it because it's one of the full coverage foundations I poured out. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to get this to work and in the first update video I will let you guys know if I actually had to choose another foundation or if I got it to work. All right, and the other foundation, it's time for me to use it up because to me it's going all. Oh, this is the NYX Total Coverage Drop Foundation and this one is in Cappuccino. You guys, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think I had the first one that I had, I think I put it into my freelance kit and I went back to a store or came across it again and purchased another one because it's no way this one should be all the way full, like still completely full. When I know I love this foundation, we're gonna try to get through, if not all of it, most of it because this, this is another foundation that I personally love it is very liquidy it is very runny but y'all the coverage is okay so I got both Maybelline fit me um, foundations this one is in the dewy and smooth which I'm wearing today I'm wearing this today and it is in the shade 355 coconut project pan from last year this one is almost it is almost gone she barely got any left in her so i want to finish it up and feel like i accomplished something in life by finishing up a foundation i will go back and repurchase these because if y'all don't know maybelline is like where the heart is okay <laughs> Maybelline is where the heart is. I love me some Maybelline all products and their foundations. Y'all, I don't think Maybelline actually came out with a foundation that I either A, haven't tried, or B, love. And I also have the Matte and Poreless, which is Bay. Okay. And this one literally had it since last year as well. And she's in 355 Coconut, but this one is in Matte and Poreless. And this is where I drew the line last year. And you guys, I think I still have about that much left. We're gonna finish it. We're gonna repurchase it. And we're gonna continue to love it. Now the last three items, I did pull out my NARS what is this called? The Soft Matte Complete Coverage Concealer. This one is in Bisque. Y'all, I had this for way too long and still haven't finished it. And I use it. I love to use this for my concealing my eyebrows, like to carve out my eyebrows. But you guys, it, I'm just not done with it. It seems full, it seems like it takes forever, but it is really thick and really full coverage. So that's why I like it for my brows because it makes my brows very sharp. Um, I have tart shape tape on the brows today to clean up. But this stuff, I will be using it this year. I plan on finishing it this year or close to it. So the last two products is this was from last year this is my ruby kisses never touch up fresh all day primer 
This is a very good primer. It says it mattifies even. It's, it's an even finish, velvety, velvety smooth, and oil free. All of that is very, very true. Love this primer, you guys. If y'all can see the dip in it, like I'm almost done. And I'm that type of person that loves to squeeze all of the toothpaste to the tip before throwing it away. So imagine with products, okay? So we're, um, I mean, we're getting there. So I think we will be able to make it work and finish up. Last product is my Milani Make It Last. The only reason why I chose this is because we're halfway through the bottle and it's a mini. I have crap tons of setting sprays. If you guys have never seen my makeup collection videos or my makeup declutter videos, I will have the playlist, <laughs> the playlist down below. You guys, I have a lot of makeup. I bought all of it with my own money or my wife's money or it has been gifted to me. And girl, I use a different setting spray, a different eyeshadow, a different lipstick, a different, hell, I use a different primer every single day. So I feel like I would accomplish something if I could just finish this. Now granted, this is my third one. So I know I could finish it up. I know I could do it because Make It Last is one of my faves. So, I know I could do it. I just, you know, feel like it'll make me feel like somebody, okay? If I could finish up a mini. Don't, don't, don't come for me. Anyways, you guys, that is it. That is all 21 products that I am planning on project panning for 2021 baby okay so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video like i said earlier if you guys are project painting any items let your girl know and I, you ain't gotta give me the full list unless you want to give me just your top three products that you plan on project painting if you're not project painting and you do own makeup project pan with your girl pick three items okay Pick three items that you would like to project pan all year long and project pan with me. Let's see how well you do versus me, me versus you, us together, okay? Quarantine kept your girl down for months last year and I just didn't feel like doing anything. But baby girl stepped on my neck and told me, baby girl, if you don't get out there and get it, I'm going here and pass that blessing on to somebody else. So what did God's daughter do? God's daughter got the up and got on her because God said he ain't playing with me, okay? He ain't playing with her, not at all. This is what we do, this is how we are. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. Hopefully you guys stay for the updates every three months. I already have it in my calendar. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And I will catch y'all in the next video, which will be a makeup tutorial. Okay, deuces. Trying to spend the rest of my life with